so now let me uh, show you uh, one R examples how to estimate uh, uh, functional concurrent models. Um, we know this is a one uh, one type of function of function linear regression models, right? Okay. So um, <coughs> so we still are using the FD library. So you will um, run this uh, library. Um, and so we were using a data set uh, in the FD library. It try to, um, so we have the gate data, right? So we have, we'll talk about the gate data when we talk about uh, the um, uh, multivariate LPCA, right? In our, in our lectures. So here um, we have the, uh, basically there's the data uh, for the individuals to uh, walk and we uh, we measured the angles of the knee and hip, right? And and so we so here the 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 example here is by try to uh, use uh, the angles of the hip to predict the uh, angles of the knee. Okay, uh, so this is the problem we are working on. Um, so. Uh, So the, the the range of the gate time is from zero to twenty. Um, so I defined uh, the observed uh, uh, gate time points is from um, 0 0.5 to um, nineteen point five, and we also have a fine gate time, uh, which is uh, equally spaced between one hundred and one equally spaced point between zero and twenty. This is just for the uh, the the purpose of to do the uh, to do the plot, okay. Um, so we have twenty uh, time twenty observations on uh, each gate cycles, okay. So um, and when we do the estimations, uh, we also have to define the uh, smooth penalty. So here the roughing penalty will defined by the harmonic. Acceleration differential operator. So this is how we define the harmonic acceleration differential operator for the uh, periodic functions. And then we created uh, twenty one um, free basis functions. Um, and uh, so the we also choose the uh, smoothing parameters. Uh, so the smoothing parameters go uh, from um, so this is uh, this is uh, uh, the log ten algorithm. Uh, so so the log ten lambda will range from minus four to zero with the uh, step on point zero to five. So we have these uh, uh, values of uh, the log lambda. So from minus four to zero. Okay. So this is the grid points on the log lambda. Okay, so uh, so first we select the uh, sm smoothing parameters for the raw data. Uh, so this is just to um, store the uh, lambda degree freedom and GCV for each given value of log lambda, and we do the uh, the loop uh, through the uh, grid points on the smoothing parameters. Um, And then we can plot how this uh, uh, how this uh, uh, GCV and uh, change with the log ten lambda, and and so you can see from here, um, GCV is kind of minimized when log lambda equal to uh, minus two point five, right? Okay, so uh, so we are choosing the optimal value to be. Um, uh, 10 to minus 2, 5. So this is to plot both the uh, GCV and the uh, degree freedom. Okay. Yes. Sorry, the 
the the TCV minimizes and lambda log lambda equal to minus one point five, right? Okay, so TCV is minimized with the lambda equal to ten to minus one point five. So then we're using this uh, smoothing parameter to smooth the gate data. Okay, um, so this will be the data we have. Um, So, uh, so here we have this uh, heap FD represent the the smoothed uh, heap angle curves, and the knee FD represent the smoothed knee angles curve. Um, so we can also uh, get the mean of the knee angles curve. So this is the mean knee angles curve, and this is uh, and we can also look at the the derivative of this uh, uh, of this uh, uh, curve. So this is the first derivative, and this is the second derivatives. Okay. So this is a. Uh, uh, the phase plot between the uh, first derivative of the knee angle curves. This is the knee velocity we call it, and the second derivative of the knee angles curve we call the knee accelerations. And uh, so you can see here, uh, this uh, this is we have twenty time points with observations, right? So this also plot the uh, plot the. Uh, the 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 locations of this uh, at each time point. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and and uh, and so on. So you can see here basically for this. Uh, uh, if you look at this phase plot, basically there's a uh, uh, two phase for this uh, when we have this uh, gate cycles. So. In the first half, like from one time one to time ten, it has kind of a small, small loop, right? Okay, and and uh, in the second, uh, uh, get second part of the git cycles, there's kind of going through a bigger loop. Um, uh, when we when we walk, okay. Uh, so uh, this is kind of show you, um, uh, actually when you do this phase plot, you look at the derivative and second derivatives. Actually, you can find some interesting informations on this uh, on this functional data. This is uh, um, one advantage when you look at a functional data is that uh, you can investigate the derivative and the second derivatives, and you can get more informations from the from the curve. Okay. So now let's uh, uh, set up the linear regression models. So, uh, so here we are using the hip angles to predict the knee angles, right? So uh, we were using a function f regress, okay? Uh, so if you don't know how how this function looks like, so you can uh, ask the help files. It will give you the uh, about this uh, uh, these models. So you can see here. Uh, this is uh, the this model is for the concurrent. It's for the uh, scalar to functions linear models or the concurrent functional linear models. Okay. And the first argument is the y. The second argument is the x. Okay. So the our y is the knee f d and the uh, x is is the uh, hip angles, and you also need to uh, tell us what's the basic function you use for the for the beta uh, for the coefficients. Um, so 
for the concurrent uh, concurrent linear models, basically here you also will have uh, one like uh, mu of t is kind of the intercept, and also you will have the slope beta of t, right? So you have these two um, basic fun two uh, functional coefficients, and uh, so here. Um, So uh, the first one is is for the intercept, okay, um, and the second one is for the um, for the slope functions, and uh, so here um, they are using the same basic functions. So uh, they are both using a uh, gate basis. So basically, is uh, um, let's see. Is the twenty one on uh, Fourier basic functions, and uh, uh, and also you using the uh, harmonic acceleration differential operator to control the roughness on the uh, functional coefficients. So then you run this uh, uh, f regress function, and then you get the intercept. And the and the slope. So you can see here um, when we get the uh, the constant, which is the slope uh, uh, intercept here, uh, you evaluate at these uh, fine time points. Okay. So as I said, uh, uh, so uh, sometimes you want to when you evaluate your functional data objects, you may using fine time points just to make your plot looks more smooth. Okay. Yes. Um, and here, uh, this is uh, uh, also evaluate the the knee uh, functional data mean of the knee uh, angle curves uh, at these fine time points. Um, so here, uh, I plot the intercept and the uh, and the average of the knee angles. So here, um, the solid lines is the intercept, and the dashed lines is the mean of the uh, knee angles. You can see, actually, definitely, the intercept is not equal to the mean of the, uh, the, the y, right? Yes, OK, so this is going to show you um, what the difference looks like. Okay, so then we look at the coefficients of the slope functions, which is this beta t here. Um, so this is the slope functions. This is to plot the slope functions. Run this yet. Let me see what's going on here. The R2 is no. I think I don't need this. Okay. okay, so this is uh this is the slope functions, right? Um we can kind of see uh three cycles. 
uh, in this uh, slope functions, right? Okay. Um, So the rest is to calculate the confidence intervals. To calculate the confidence intervals, we need to first uh, uh, get the uh, get the residues, right? So the residues is the first find the fitted values, y hat, um, and then using the fitted values uh, minus the original y, and then you get the residues, and then you can um, get the estimation for the uh, residual variance, sigma e. Okay, and after you get this sigma e, uh, sigma for the residuals, then you can put this uh, in the f regret functions. Uh, it will come up with the uh, Come up with the standard errors for the estimation. I think this is the common interval for the uh, intercept. Okay, so if I will do the returns, this is the common interval uh, for the slope functions. Okay. Yes. So this is uh, the estimation for the uh, concurrent models. Okay. Any questions?